Hello again my friends, uh, Ray back at Cigar Climatology. Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, mounting the, uh, the false back or the uh, separation between the formal humidor and the back of the humidor. If you look down here at the table, you'll see one of my back assemblies. Now this is not a completed assembly. Uh, meaning it doesn't really already have attached to it uh, the ducting, etc., because those items are simply going to get in our way. But for the most part, it contains three pieces, and that would be the the back assembly or the back itself, which is uh, this part made out of uh, made out of uh, sheet ABS, and uh, more importantly, or what's going to be. Uh, the primary part that we're going to be working with today would be the back mount. And this is the back mount. So what you can see here is uh, the back mount is, um, it, it does a number of things. Uh, first, uh, as the name implies, it does mount the, uh, the formal back of the humidor. And it is also the water table. For the, for the humidor, which allows us to control the free water and capture it as it gets uh, condensed on the evaporator coil or what might be commonly referred to as the cold plate and then recaptured and reused. Uh, again, this allows us to, uh, to, con to uh, control the free water and uh, uh, water vapor via evaporation in the humidor itself. and. Um, as uh, some of you might know by some of my writings, it's literally impossible to create a precision, high quality uh, refrigerated humidor without uh, some form of control over the, free, over the free water. Now what you'll also notice here is the uh, mounting of um, the drain. This is the actual drain to the, uh, from the back area and this will be attached to our humidifier. One of the things that's important here is I, I use a number of different assemblies for these and, and uh, this particular guy uh, allows a pivot at the, uh, at the uh, mounting nut uh, which is really nice which means that this, uh, this can potentially be removed sometime in the future of course if there's enough room left in there to unthread it. Sometimes I do use the one piece L's and uh, the one-piece L's require that this is attached and uh, firmly uh, threaded down before you mount the back. If you mount the back afterwards, you're going to have a heck of a problem because there's really going to be no way to attach this L-shaped fitting after this is uh, cemented onto the back of the, of the back wall of the humidor. The next thing that we're going to discuss real quick will be the finishing of the back. Now, um, typically when I sell a kit, I'll probably go through here and I'll buff this off anyway. But uh, remember, a lot of these uh, uh, production plastics uh, may or may not have release agents that are attached to the skin of the plastic when you or when I get it. So uh, for me it's important to go through I use a, a medium or fine, typically a medium uh, abrasive Scotch-Brite pad um, or, or you know 3M hand pad which is uh, a material that's uh, infused with or uh, has uh, has an abrasive material bonded to it um, flexible pad and I just go ahead and I scratch up all this surface. Now you probably can't really see it from where you're at but uh, it's an important uh, it's an important an important part of the process because you want to make sure that this does bond and uh, and it's a permanent bond and it stays that way. This bond needs to be able to withstand freezing temperatures and it needs to be able to withstand constant uh, constant water because for the life of the humidor this area will probably remain wet in uh, in some form or another so uh, you know again the bond is very very important 
I'll be back in the next segment to talk a little bit about adhesives and uh, uh, show you the hand pad uh, for scrubbing the back when, when we go in and we look at the back side of the cooler. Thanks for watching.